men's college basketball returns tomorrow. Number four, Virginia taking on Maine. The Cavaliers adding former Marquette sharpshooter Sam Hauser to a strong returning cast led by point guard Kihei Clark. High, high expectations in Iowa City this year. The number five Hawkeyes open their season against NC Central. Preseason All-American Luke Garza leading the charge for Iowa. Number three, Villanova opens its season with former Big East rival Boston College. You can catch Colin Gillespie and company right here on ESPN at 7 o'clock Eastern. Now, games haven't even started on the D1 level, and coronavirus is wreaking havoc. Overall, we're up to over 125 D1 men's teams that have had cancellations and postponements announced so far. Nearly 201 D1 teams have had games postponed or canceled on the women's side. Those numbers, of course, are growing by the day. So let's bring in our college basketball reporter, Myron Metcalf. What are you hearing, Myron, about how programs around college basketball are dealing with all the challenges from COVID? Well, a lot of them are knocking on wood that they can get off the ground on the season opening day tomorrow. Uh, I talked to a coach who landed last night in South Dakota for his tournament, found out he had a new opponent uh, because his main opponent had tested out uh, because of COVID, negative, a positive test. Uh, I've talked to coaches who have relocated out of their states hoping they can play. Another coach told me he has an athlete who has been quarantined for 49 days because of contact tracing. So a lot of these coaches are really just hoping that they can get off the ground a lot of individuals throughout the, the scene, even if they haven't had to cancel games, have had interruptions. So a lot of people are hoping for good things to happen in the coming days, but they're very, very concerned. Yeah, the whole situation feels somewhat fraught. Uh, college hoops rosters obviously are a lot smaller than the ones in college football. How, how might that impact whether or not games are played? Well, I think the biggest thing is the NCAA guideline right now is for a 14-day quarantine uh, if someone in what's called Tier 1 test positive. So that's your players, coaches, staffers. So you've had a number of teams that have already endured these 14-day quarantines. And I've talked to a number of leaders who think that if that remains, if that becomes the norm in college basketball, it'll be very difficult to have a season. Uh, one player tests positive, you're canceled. So the difference in college football is that you've had games where 10, 15, 20 players miss games and the games still happen. In college basketball, those games will be canceled. And not just those games, but the games for the next couple of weeks could also be affected by that 14-day quarantine, uh, which is a challenge for a lot of coaches who've been talking about the issue. Now, Myron, I know you got an article up on ESPN.com right now about a college basketball parents association being formed to advocate for players and educate parents. What are they hoping to achieve with all this? Well, you know, this is a group uh, of organized parents who are behind some of the top players in America, Jalen Johnson, Jalen Suggs, Moses Moody. Their parents are involved uh, in what they're hoping to do is to establish a national network of parents and to empower one another through education, helping each other get through the process of recruiting, understanding the landscape of college basketball. But they also want to be able to engage in some of these conversations around COVID, mental health, uh, name, image, and likeness. So this is the start they launched this morning, but the goal is to grow into a national network. So that's what their goal is, and that's what they hope to do going forward. All right, you can check that out on ESPN.com, the college hoop season. Tip it off tomorrow, 16 ranked teams in action. Myron getting us ready for all of it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.